Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Sarad and in today's Daily Dose of Tarot we're going to check into 27th of uh, May uh, 2022nd and check out what is waiting for us basically there. But before we get to the reading, should you wish your personal consultation with me, you can always uh, check out the description down below and uh, there you're going to see a link to my website where from the very front page of it, you can see full list of my services and as well their pricing. So with that said, uh, going for the reading itself, uh, the first card for Friday, that is going to be um, the Ace of Swords uh catalyzed from one side or the second uh card that is going to be uh for what it seems uh the empress and the final card of the day we do oh my god we do have the four of pentacles okay so let's just hold on a second so these uh these three cards and uh the day itself is going to be quite rough. That is because it seems that the day is going to be all about a very, very serious conversations that we're going to have uh, with people which our future matters from. What I mean is that our future pretty much depends on, on how these people manifest into our lives, depends on their behavior, depends on their decisions, especially. So what these people could be or who these people could be well for example it could be the owner of the company where we are working into our future depends on them could be with our supervisor our family okay but these are a very substantial people this isn't this isn't a nobody out there and uh, the thing it is that with these conversations it is just we are going to be thrown out of our comfort zone now that is going to be literally the moment where we have to spill the beans okay we just have to say things as things are for ourselves not just only for ourselves but as well you know how, how would you see the situation uh, and in these in these conversations it is just the truth is going to be revealed out there okay for some of us that truth is going to be pretty much flabbergasting for others is going to be a very very welcomed uh it is just the experience uh, is going to be unique for every single one of us but what is certain from these cards and that can be very well uh be seen with these two okay so the ace of swords and the and the empress it kind of pretty much it gives them an incentive of emergency that, that is the first thing that these two cards put so basically when you are confronted with that conversation not just only that you me and and whomever is is uh, listening to this video not just only we cannot escape from it but also by the end of it there has to be a decision that needs to be made and we don't have the luxury of the time to think about it really it's not like we can you know withdraw from the midst of activities uh where we can decide okay i i, I want to give it a go or i don't want to give it a go now that decision even unspoken is going to be tr um trans not transmuted my god conveyed okay it, even unspoken that that decision is going to be conveyed to the other side and that will pretty much going to decide what the future with this person and everything that involves us with this person is going to be from there on moving forward so it's very imperative that um in friday uh or at friday we gotta be honest not just only with us uh not just only with the person we are going to talking with but also with ourselves because you know we all are beguiling ourselves about certain things. Uh, we, as a human race and as a human beings, we always try to twist things around, uh, around. But at the end of the day, especially of how the Ace of Swords manifests, the Ace of Swords stands for the truth, okay? And there is only one truth, or truth. There is only one way to say it. And the moment of it comes friday okay it could be about our job could be about our love life it regards to our stability okay it regards to the security of our future so definitely is going to manifest in the field where you are most uncertain at okay uh, in the relationships where you just don't know what to make of them and uh 
it will be refreshing very very refreshing because right after those conversations you will know okay we all gonna know what the diagnosis of the situation truly is how far that situation can go and if now you don't know how to approach the conversation you may not even have the strength to do it you may think you don't have the strength to do it but you do we all have the spiritual strength to stand and to have it in our face and deliver it into their faces as well because that's what the day is all about saying the things as they are as we found out that they are going to be and uh accepting them and now that i think of from the last day where it was all about unfound potentials now think about it where you do realize the potential unfound and you want to say it out loud but what we talked about for thursday it is that we are not gonna be how can i put it into words we're not gonna we're not gonna be sure of the way how to do it well what better way than the truth right what better way than that and even if uh, we have to face denial which is highly unlikely um, at least we ain't gonna waste any time with it and daydream about it so with that said that was uh, the daily dose of taro for 27th of uh, may hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like the guys and we're gonna see each other next time until then bye